let me tell you something. All's fair in love and war. I did a video where I took apart a movement MVMT movement watch. Uh, this is the result. The reason why I made the video is because I really wanted to see what all the um, hype was and what all the hate was for this watch. I understand that glass is glass and glass will break. Nothing very impressive about the watch. Even before I took it apart, I noticed it felt very hollow. It did feel cheap. I'm gonna take apart another watch. And this is a watch uh, from a brand that is tried and true and loved among all watch enthusiasts. I even love this brand. I, however, um, got this watch and wound up not really liking it all too much. It just wasn't for me. Uh, that watch I'm talking about is the Movement, the Timex Weekender. Great little watch, great starter watch. I wish this was the watch I had um, gotten first. I really didn't like it. I found myself not wearing it. Uh, so I'm gonna make another video and uh, that is taking apart this watch because I feel that while they are not in the same category, Movement and Timex, they are on, in a sense, on the same level, as in they're both quartz pieces, they're probably like manufactured in a similar way. I don't know, I'm just surmising here. Uh, but what I, I'm saying is that this watch was $50, included a leather strap. The movement watch was $90, included a leather strap. Uh, I notice a lot in these videos that I, I forget to say my opinion a lot. I'm sorry if I thought I was wrong, but I thought it was by default if I put a video out that gives reasons why I don't like something that it would be opinionated, but I guess that needs to be like in bold or I need to say that a few times throughout the video. This is all opinionated. Don't do this to your Timex Weekender or any watch. back opened up a lot easier I forgot to press record easier than the movement watch to come off uh, this is a big battery this is like a little bigger than a dime this is a nickel size battery uh, I don't know if that means it lasts longer maybe I'd have to look that up maybe it's better maybe it's exactly the same the inside um, just looks like it has more going on and also more protection for the back and the battery can't just easily be pried out. It just seems like a more secure watch. Um, I don't know if entirely necessary, but the presentation is already um, higher up on the scoreboard than movement. Uh, so good job Timex. versus quartz aside uh, I just opened up the back of this Timex and am impressed again uh, circuit boards are they're very interesting like a pathway to something I don't know it's a wonder about how anybody makes anything work um, but it's really really beautiful <laughs>
And now for the final test. The dial bent a little easier on this Timex watch than the movement watch. Maybe it has something to do with the size. That concludes this video of the Timex breakdown. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, 